Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. All right. I have another package opening, and I'm not even going to pretend that you don't know what it is. Came today. It's heavy. Very heavy. And it came from, guess who? Payoff pitch. <laughs> that's, that's exactly who it came from. And, uh, yeah, I ordered some more teams. Um, if you remember me saying, well, all right, so this is really, this is going to be really quite challenging. If you remember me saying that I, um, in ordering from payoff pitch, I don't prefer to order the PDFs. I, I want the printed sets. Well, the printed sets came back out, and uh, they were back on the website, and there was a big sale on them. Uh, what was normally, you know, the I think a lot of the seasons that were normally like $49 were down to $29. So, I took advantage of it, and I ordered three sets. Uh, here is the first one, and this looks like the Yes. This is the smallest package, and this is the Australian Baseball League. 2019 Australian Baseball League. I didn't even know Australia had a baseball league. So this is the Australian Baseball League, and um, this is not one we will be breaking down and looking a little bit at. We will be looking a little bit at the other two, because who knows who plays in the Australian Baseball League. I mean, apparently Wes Hellesbeck does, and so does Song Wan Yu. But anyway, that was one of the sets I got, and that was only $9. That was the basically the price of a PDF for most of the other teams. Got a lot of paper. Um, and we have the 1950. Four set. Now I'm going to take a closer look at the 1954 set um, in the, the next part of this video. But yes, I got the 1954 set. I'm going to break this bad boy down and put those in their teams. And uh, more paper. And uh, this is, and you can see they're coming out. The plastic is even ready to give me all of the teams uh, in here. And this is the 1981 Major League Baseball League. Yes. So we're going to take a look at the 1981, some of the 1981 players. We're going to take a look at some of the 1954 players. And as I said, we will not be taking a look at the Australian League I don't truthfully even know when I'm going to break that down, but I mean, it was nine bucks. So, you know, but anyway, let's take a look at some of these players. All right. Well, let's take a look at some of the 1954 players. And here you got, um, Ray Narleski of Cleveland. And, uh, he was a pitcher pitched, uh, apparently that year, only 89 innings. Got a lot of toughs, though, there, right there. Six and seven, tough. I don't know who that was that just fell, but this was uh, Bill Tuttle. Uh, you got Bob Graham of the Yankees, Bob Grimm of the Yankees. Johnny Sane. Spawn and Sane and Pray for Rain. Uh, but at this point, he was just a relief pitcher. 77 innings, 22 saves. Charlie Bishop, Johnny Pesky, Pesky's Pole. Is that the right one or is that a different one? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, Washi's on Washington in 1954. Johnny Schmitz, Duke Snyder, Brooklyn Dodgers. There he is. Center field F. So hopefully this was like near the end of his career because. Really, I don't think I would have ever classified Duke Snyder as an F in center field. 
D. Fondy, Paul Minner, Wally Post. Who doesn't remember Wally Post? Name from the past. Ernie Johnson, Bill Taylor, Smokey Burgess, Jim Constantini, Constantini, Kurt Roberts, Joe Frazier, down goes Frazier, Brooks Lawrence, Don Leonard, Lenhart, Mario Picconi, Leo Kiley, I'm probably butchering some of these names, Tom Morgan, Tim Thompson, Hoot Evers, love Hoot Evers. And we got, reg we got the old Wrigley Field of 1954. Wheelhouse 1 to 24 and 1 to 49 for righties. Well, that's a pretty big spread. Got a blank card, which are always nice. You can make your own cards. Cal Abrams. Do I have a, do I see another one in there? Another ballpark? No. Uh, Mike Blazicka. Sam Mele. Bill Worley, Carl Sch Schwartzke, Hank Majeski, Hal Newhauser. Hal New I think he's in the Hall of Fame, isn't he? I think he's in the Hall of Fame. But at this point, only 46 innings pitched. Of course, some of these might be partial cards if they were traded, although in 1954, I don't expect that happened a lot. Red Wilson, Mickey Mantle. There he is, the Mick. Mickey Mantle. Centerfield F1. Ooh, that's harsh. Shortstop. I didn't even know Mickey Mantle played shortstop. Um, but uh, the wheelhouse, 1 to 60 versus lefties and 1 to 55 versus righties. And uh, the patient, and eh, the patient ain't too much different on each on either side. 1 to 59, 1 to 57. Uh, tough. Yeah, you can strike him out. Yeah. Al Shalock, Mo Birchke, Birchy, Bob Porterfield, Speck Shea. Now, I did a season with the 1950-something um, Washington uh, Senators. So I do, Speck Shea is definitely a name that I recall. Although I don't think he had as many innings pitched in the season that I did. I don't think it, I'm not sure it was, it might have been 1955 that I did. Don't remember. Rube Walker, Joe Garagiola, uh, who was really probably more famous for being an announcer than being a baseball player. Howie Pollitt, Andy Semenik, Gene Conley, Dave Jolly, Hank Thompson. I'm just looking for some, you know, big names in here. Bob Miller, Jack Shepard. Alex Grammis, Royce Lint. Anyway, uh, that will I'm I'm done going through the 1954 um, play. I just wanted to give you know, kind of a flavor of the 1954 set, a little bit of a look at it, um, and now we will we will move on and we will look at the 1981 set, which a lot of people may be. Uh, more familiar with. Again, I'm just going to take a quick look at some of these guys. Uh, I'll go through, you know, Dallas Williams. I'll, I'll go through quickly for, you know, guys that I don't remember. Mike Patterson, who remembers him. Bob Lacey. Wow. All right. That's just a guy that pitched one inning. Jerry Grody on Los Angeles in 1981, apparently. Um, and not very good. Tough strikeout, 1-97. to 97. Refer to other things to see what else happens. Um, Bob Dernier. I remember Bob Dernier. Speedy guy. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was... Uh, well, well, he had a seven... Eh, only four at-bats against each, but a 750 average against each. Um, so he was like three for four against each handed pitcher. But, yeah, has a 1-66 to strikeout against Tough. Um, I don't know. Dodger Stadium. That's 1981 Dodger Stadium. Wheelhouse, um, 1-54 against lefties, 1-61 against righties. 
Exhibition Stadium, Toronto, 1 to 60 versus lefties, 1 to 45 versus righties. Candy Maldonado, who doesn't remember him? I remember him with the Giants, but you know. Don McCormack, Oakland Coliseum, got a lot of uh, stadiums in this one. 1 to 80 versus righties for Wheelhouse. Nice. Blank card, of course, always nice. Chris Welsh. I remember Chris Welsh. He was on one of my strat teams when I was a kid. He was a starter in my rotation. 123 innings in 1981. Doyle Alexander, 152 innings. Ken Oberkfell of St. Louis. Yeah, third base C2, shortstop D. Larry Sorensen. 140 innings. Now, these uh, cards, 1981, there was probably a lot more player movement, so there's going to be probably different cards. Tony Scott, there will be different guys on different teams. Bob Davis, of, he was on California this time, but I remember Bob Davis uh, being on um, the uh, Toronto Blue Jays in 1979. So I guess by then he had moved on to California. Andre Robertson, Charlie Beeman, Rodney Scott, Rodney Scott, Montreal, loved Montreal. He was a second base A, nice. I don't really think he was, but anyway. Uh, Mike Cubbage of the uh, Mets in 1981. Ed Lynch on the New York Mets. 80 innings that year. Ryan Sandberg, 1981 Philadelphia. And so this was before he was traded to the Cubs. And uh, it shows because he only had six at bats. Mike Easler on Pittsburgh. Uh, that was when Pittsburgh was starting their slow decline into uh, nothingness. Mark Lee on Pittsburgh. Mike Phillips. Dave Bergman. Now, so here it is. Here's another guy, partial. Dave Bergman on San... This was when he was with San Francisco from uh, from April 22nd to October 4th. So I don't know who else he was on, but he wasn't on that other team, whoever it was, for very long. Uh, Fred Brining. Mike Ramsey, St. Louis. Bob Sykes, St. Louis. Sykes. Harry Spielman, combined totals. Um, I'm not think. I don't. Maybe Houston, Houston, and maybe St. Louis. I'm not sure. Uh, Steve Lubrick, Drek, Andy McGaffigan. I remember Andy McGaffigan. Nino Espinosa. I do remember him. Jack, hungry for a hit, Picanti. <laughs> this was a. He was on a friend of mine's team when we were kids, and. Uh, and he called him Jack Hungry for a hit per Conti because at one point he was going through a drought where he didn't get any hits. Uh, but this is him with the Dodgers in 1981. John Vukovic got Memorial Stadium in Baltimore. 1 to 75 wheelhouse versus lefties and 1 to 60 versus righties. Wow. Another blank card, always good. Tony Scott, that's probably a, a guy that moved then because I remember seeing another Tony Scott. Steve Garvey, of course, with the Dodgers. Alejandro Pena with the Dodgers. Chris Spire of Montreal. Doug Flynn, New York with the Mets. Mike Marshall, is this the same guy that... Um, no, no, that... Wait a minute, maybe. No, I don't know. I was going to say, was he the same guy that like pitched a ton of innings as a reliever earlier in his career? And it might have been, because this was 1981. It might have been near the end of his career, and he was like, you know, his arm was jello by then. I don't know. Uh, Mike Schmidt. Michael Jack Schmidt. And, you know, let's see. Okay, here. So, 1981, he was a lot better. I, I remember looking at his 1979 card and seeing that he hit like 228 against lefties or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, and then by, by this time he was a lot better against both sides. And, uh, yeah, the home run is crazy. One to 97 versus lefties, one to 92 versus righties. Wow. 
You don't want to get, you know, if you're the opposing player team, you don't want to see wheelhouse with him. Tim Foley. Tim Foley, home run in wheelhouse, zero. Don't even think about it. Not going to happen. Bob Long. Mario Ramirez. Bob Brenly went on to manage the uh, Diamondbacks, I think. the Maybe the Giants and the Diamondbacks. Well, the, definitely the Diamondbacks. Uh, but, yeah, he was the catcher for the Giants. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Tom Griffin uh, on San Francisco. Gene Roof, um, St. Louis. Dave Bergman. So, yeah, this is a lot of these guys bringing back, uh, bringing back uh, memories. Freddie Martinez. Rick Bosetti, Oakland. Now, I remember him from the 79 set being on um, the uh, Blue Jays. Albert Hall, Atlanta by this time. Dan Briggs, Montreal. Gary Alexander on Pittsburgh. I never knew that Gary Alexander was on Pittsburgh. Here we go. Comiskey Park. 1 to 52 wheelhouse against lefties and 1 to 41 against righties. Another blank card. A lot of those. I can make my own team now with blank cards. John Montefusco, the Count of Montefusco on Atlanta in 81. Ty Waller. George Foster. George Foster. Let's see how many home runs that year. 46 total. Yeah, yeah. 1 to 73 home run against righty. Nice in wheelhouse. Paul Moscow, Terry Poole, Houston, Dusty Baker, now managing the uh, Astros, but uh, on the Dodgers in 1981. Dave Goltz, L.A., Mike Phillips again. That's a, that's a guy that's probably on two different teams because I remember seeing him. Elias Sosa on Montreal, Tom Hausman. Bake McBride of the uh, Phillies. Ron Reed of the Phillies. Victor Cruz, not of the Phillies, of Pittsburgh. Joe LaFay. Joe LaFay of the San Diego um, Padres at this point. Joe Urea. Jim Wolford. I remember Jim Wolford, San Francisco. Sixto Lescano, St. Louis. Bob Shirley on St. Louis, and Dave Revering, combined total, so he was on a few different teams. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick walk down memory lane. I don't have time to go through all, you know, 750 cards for the 81 set and the uh, however many there are in the 1954, but I just thought it was interesting letting you guys know, hey, got these guys, and I am going to be spending... You know how I'm going to be spending my weekend? I'm going to be sitting all alone in my basement sorting these cards out. I know, you're sitting at home and you're thinking, that sounds like a sad existence. But no, no, not for me. For me, it's great. For me, it's greatness. I might even take a break to eat. Who knows? But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.